Welcome to the Prayer Warrior Channel. I am your host for today, Doris Santos. Today, we are going to pray the prayer against the spirit of fear. Father, as we come before your throne, we ask you for forgiveness of every sin that we have committed knowingly or unknowingly. Wash us with the precious blood of Jesus. I pray for every person on the other side of the screen to be delivered from the spirit of fear. Thank you, Father, for your promises of deliverance. As we pray Psalm 34 verse 4, I sought the Lord and He answered me. He delivered me from all of my fears. Your promise also states in your word that it cannot come back empty. As I claim Isaiah 54 verse 11. So is my word that goes out from my mouth. It will not return to me empty, but will accomplish what I desire and achieve the purpose for which I send it. I come against the spirit of fear and bring before you every person who needs deliverance from the spirit of fear right now in the name and the blood of Jesus. I speak to every kind of fear and your roots to be burned by the holy fire of the Holy Ghost. I release the pain of any harmful past as we surrender to you or anything else trying to hold us in bondage. I speak 2 Timothy chapter 1 verse 7 For God has not given us a spirit of fear but of power and of love and of a sound mind. Every spirit of fear has to bow down to the name and the blood of Jesus. I bind and I cast you out, spirit of fear, from me and every person here in this prayer, in Jesus' name, and release God's spirit of faith and peace upon them in the name of Jesus. I say, You are my salvation, Lord, I pray. Psalm 27 verse 1 The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the stronghold of my life. Of whom? Shall I be afraid? I pray. I have no fear of tomorrow for your word, says in Luke chapter 12, verse 22 to 26. Do not worry about your life, what you will eat, or about your body, what you will wear. Life is more than food, and the body more than clothes. Consider the ravens, they do not sow or reap, they have no storeroom or barn. Yet God feeds them. And how much more valuable you are than birds. Who of you by worrying can add a single hour to his life? Since you cannot do this very little thing, why do you worry about the rest? Lord, take all my burdens that I cannot carry anymore. As I pray Psalm 55 verse 22. Cast your cares on the Lord and He will sustain you. He will never let the righteous fall. I say I am strong and courageous and pray Deuteronomy 31 verse 6. Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid or terrified because of them. For the Lord your God goes with you. He will never leave you nor forsake you. Lord, take my hand as I pray Isaiah 41 verse 13 to 14. For I am the Lord your God who takes hold of your right hand and says to you, Do not fear, I will help you. Do not be afraid, for I myself will help you, declares the Lord, your Redeemer, the Holy One of Israel. Father, take away the fear of man in my heart as I pray Psalm 118 verse 6 to 7. The Lord is with me, I will not be afraid. What can man do to me? The Lord is with me, he is my helper. Father, never allow me to trust men more than you. As I pray, Proverbs 29 verse 25. Fear of man will prove to be a snare, but whoever trusts in the Lord is kept safe. Thank you, Father, for your loving protection and keeping me always safe as I pray over my life. Psalm 34 verse 7 The angel of the Lord encamps around those who fear him and he delivers them. Thank you for hearing me, Lord. Thank you so much. 
thank you for setting me free from the spirit of fear, Lord. As I pray this scripture, wash me fully, O Lord, I pray. Isaiah 41 verse 10 So do not fear, for I am with you. Do not be dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you and help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. When I am scared, I will remember what your word says in Psalm 56 verse 3. When I am afraid, I will put my trust in you. Let your peace enter my heart, O Lord, I pray. John 14 verse 27 Peace is what I leave with you. It is my own peace that I give you. I do not give it as the world does. Do not be worried and upset. Do not be afraid. Thank you, Father God. When I panic or get panic attacks, let your word cover me, O Lord, as I pray. Psalm 94 verse 19 When anxiety was great within me, your consolation brought joy to my soul. Thank you, Lord, for reminding me that I need to be strong and courageous. And I pray, Joshua chapter 1 verse 9, Have I not commanded you, be strong and courageous? Do not be terrified, do not be discouraged, for the Lord your God will be with you wherever you go. Thank you, Father, for all your promises. And I know that I am delivered as I decree and declare that I can handle anything that comes my way. My setbacks make me stronger. I am strong and powerful. My struggles are opportunities to grow. I am capable of achieving all my goals. Facing my fears empowers me. Every stronghold of fear is demolished in the name and the blood of Jesus. Amen. Please subscribe and share and join me again for the next prayer. Don't forget to visit our store.